Hi, my name is Dave Hudspath, and I'm going to teach you 25 coin tricks using a scotch and soda or a diamond penny. Let's begin. Dottie, I'm going to teach you how to do a coin trick. And for this, you take a coin, place it on your fingers, close your hand into a fist. Okay. Now, as you close your hand into a fist, you extend your fingers so that the coin actually ends up here at the back of your hand. Right. Take a pencil and pass it through the hand. Now, as you come to remove the pencil from underneath, you simply allow the coin to fall onto your fingertips. Grab the pencil, come around, give it a tap, and you make the coin disappear. <laughs> Easy, right? Okay. Great. It's even easier and neater if you use two coins. Look, we'll take two coins, place those into the hand, pass the pencil through, steal the coin out, give it a tap, and you've made a coin disappear. Now, whatever you do, don't open this hand, unless, of course, you know how to do magic. Now, I'm going to explain to you exactly how I did that trick and also what the trick coins are. Now, here I have a scotch and soda set. What you get with this is a real centavo that you can use towards the end of the trick. And you also get a half dollar shell, heads up, it's hollowed out, and then you have this insert that fits inside it. Now this is a centavo on one side and then the tail side of the half dollar on the other. That way when these coins fit together, they lock in place and it looks exactly like a half dollar. The way you separate these coins is by using this bang ring. And you place this into the ring head side up, and then you tap it on the table. And what that does is it allows the insert to come out. Now the diamond penny set is pretty much the same way, except here you have a copper shell. It's a penny, heads up, it's hollowed out on the back, and then you have a dime insert. It's a dime on this side, and then the tail side of the penny on the back. That way when these fit together, once again it looks like a real penny. Now, you don't use a bang ring with this. What you do is take a glass, drop these into there, into the glass, and shake it up, and that allows the coins to separate. Once again, remember you have the dime, dime, and the penny. Now, I love the dime and penny for close-up situations. It's a great trick, plus you can borrow the dime. They give you an extra centavo with the scotch and soda set because these are kind of hard to find, but you can always find the dime. We're going to use for this video mostly the scotch and soda set just so that you can see it. So wherever I do a trick and I have the half dollar shell, when you use the pe diamond penny, simply use the penny shell in its place. And they'll lock together and you'll make the coins vanish. I hope that's clear. Now let me show you how to do the trick. The first trick I did is where I supposedly talked the spectators how to do a magic trick. And for this I took the half dollar shell placed it into my fingertips like that, closed the hand as I explained that I keep the, sh the coin towards the back of the hand. Now you pass the uh, pencil through the hand as you explain to the spectators that you're going to steal the coin out and then simply come around, give it a tap, and you've made a coin vanish. A lot of spectators will be amazed at that because they've never seen how a magic trick works. Here's where you really fool them. Pick up the centavo insert so that they see the centavo and place the shell on top of it. Now you explain that you can do the exact same trick but with two coins. Now when you close your hand all you do is nest these two coins together so that they lock in place as you close the hand. Simply take the pencil now, pass it through the hand, you don't steal anything but you act like you did, give it a tap and then show that the centavo has vanished. They'll be amazed and of course they'll think that it's in your other hand. That's when you say, do not open your other hand unless of course you know how to do magic. Now here's a great trick using the scotch and soda set. Pick up the uh, centavo, place that into your hand. Place the half dollar into the hand also. Show that to the spectators. Close your hand slowly into a fist. Place your other hand about a foot apart. Say the magic words abracadabra and look, the centavo has jumped from this hand and is now over here. To do this trick, you're going to use the scotch and soda set or the diamond penny set, remember, and then you'll need an extra coin. If you're using the diamond penny, get an extra dime. Now this coin is just held in the fingers right there in your hand and they don't know anything about it because you're calling attention to the two coins on the table. 
Simply place the insert into your hand, place the shell on top of it, show that clearly to the audience, close your hand slowly, and as you do, just simply nest the two coins together. Give it a squeeze so it locks in place, bring your other hand up, say the magic words, and then show that one coin has jumped from this hand and is now over here. I'm going to show you another handling for the same trick that we just did that's really neat because you can openly show your hands empty to begin with. You simply pick up the insert, place that into your hand, then place the uh, shell, the half dollar, on top. Show this clearly to the audience. Say, I'm going to place both coins into the hand. Now, you're showing an empty hand here. Don't call attention to it. Just show it empty as much as possible. Now, what I've done is I've placed the extra centavo up my sleeve before I started. So now, when I drop my hand, what happens is the centavo falls right into my hand. So now I can do the same trick, just simply close the hands, hold this hand a foot apart, say the magic words, and abracadabra, one coin has jumped from here and is now over here. Dottie, do you like money? Oh, yes. Fantastic. I'm going to show you a trick with some money. Okay. What I have here is a Mexican centavo. All right. Then I have an American half dollar. Now, I'm going to put these both into the hands and then ask you a trick question, okay? okay? Look, how much do you think the 50-cent piece is worth? 50 cents. Fantastic. <laughs> but how much do you think the centavo is worth? Um, I'll tell you. <laughs> Wrong. It's worth nothing. Now, this trick is a lot of fun. Don't pass it up because it's so simple, because it really gets them. But once again, you're using your copper-silver set either your diamond penny or your scotch and soda. You place the insert onto your hand. You place the shell on top of that as you comment on what the two coins are. And then you simply nest them together as you close your hand. Now, remember, when you nest them together, you pull back with the thumb and line it up and give it a squeeze. But you don't do that right in front of them. You do that as you close your hand, like so. That way, they don't see you nesting the two coins together. Simply comment on the two coins, remove one, wave it over the other hand, and show that the coin has vanished. Here we have two coins. I have a centavo. I have a half dollar. I've got two empty hands. I simply reach down. I grab the centavo, give it a squeeze, and make it completely disappear. Take the half dollar, put that into the hand. Apply just a little bit of heat to it, a little bit of heat. And believe it or not, that makes that coin disappear also. Here's how you do the trick. Simply take the insert, hold that in your hand, pick up the shell, place that over the coin so that they're overlapping. The shell is in front. Now, as you come to apparently remove the back coin, in this case, the centavo, all you do is bring the coins down in place, like so, right into the shell, and come away as though you're carrying the centavo. It happens quickly. Give it a shake, show that the coin has vanished. Now you're left with the locked coin. Now we're going to vanish this coin using a very simple vanish, and all you do is hold the coin in this position and turn your hand over and retain a grip on that coin. But you time that with the other hand like that. It looks as though you put it there. Simply go into your pocket, come out with the lighter, and leave the coin behind. Give it a little bit of heat, and that coin vanishes too. Now, you don't have to use a lighter. And by the way, if you're under 18, don't use a lighter without adult supervision. You can use another coin. You can use a magic wand, whatever you happen to have in your pocket. If you have nothing in your pocket, you can still go to your pocket and get rid of the coin, come out with what they call invisible wiffle dust, and wave that over the hand, and then show that the coin has vanished also. Dottie, yes. I want to show you the easiest card trick I know. Would you name any card at all? Uh, six of hearts. Six of hearts. Yes. All I have to do is go through the cards like this, and look, <laughs> I've found your card, the six of hearts. Yes, you did. You're not, you're not impressed. <laughs> I'll show you the uh, hardest card trick I know. Okay. Take the six of hearts and place your hand down on top of it. Okay. Now, this is a hard card trick because I use coins. See, I have a centavo <laughs> and I have a half dollar. These go into the hand. Would you name either of the two coins? Uh, the half dollar. The half dollar. I'll use the half dollar as a magic wand, wave it over the centavo, and look, it's vanished. Oh. It's gone. But remember, I said this was the hardest card trick I know. And the reason for that is if you'll lift your hand and look under the six of hearts, you will find the centavo. Let me show you how to do that trick now. What you're going to use is the scotch and soda set or the diamond penny set. I'll explain this one with the diamond penny just so that you can see. Take the real dime, finger palm that here in your hand, lay the deck on top of it, 
face up. Now remember, you have the uh, shell and the insert here. Have someone name a card. Now Dottie named the six of hearts. All you do is run through, say you'll show them the easiest card trick you've ever done, out jog the six of hearts, and then come with this hand from underneath and load the dime underneath it. Now you can get rid of the deck at that point. Come with the other hand underneath and grab hold of the dime firmly. This is a real easy way to load a coin under a card. Now you can show the back side of this card, and by pulling back with your fingers, you pull the dime with it, and you're showing that there's nothing there. Don't call attention to it, just do it. Extend the fingers again, that puts the dime back into the middle of the card, and table the card. Have the spectator place their hand on top of that. Now, pick up the insert first, in this case the dime, place the shell on top of it, call attention to the two coins in your hand, close the hand and nest the two coins together. Have them name either coin. Now we're going to make the dime appear under the card. So we have to have a logical way to do this. If they name the dime, you say fine. Give it a little shake and then show that the dime has vanished and has appeared underneath the card. But if they say the penny, then what you're going to do is reach in, pull out the penny, say that you'll use that as a magic wand, wave it over the hand, and make the dime disappear. Dottie, yes. do me a favor. Hold your hand, left hand, palm up. Okay. Fantastic. I'm going to place my hand on top of that. Put your hand, palm down, on top of mine. Okay. So we've got a little sandwich there. <laughs> now here I have a couple of coins. I'm going to place the dime on the back of your hand. Okay. Then I'll place the uh, penny on the back of your hand also. Okay. So we have two coins there. Yes. Would you name either of the two coins? Uh, the dime. The dime. I want you to watch this closely. The hand is empty. I simply give it a cover, push down, and tell me if you feel anything. No. Don't feel, not feeling well today. Yes, I oh, do. Oh, you felt something there. I felt a coin. You did. Well, let's look. You see, the, uh, the dime, the one you name, has vanished from there. Yes, it did. Gone through your hand, lift it. Gone through my hand, lift it. And landed in your hand dime. below. Here's how you do this trick. It's a lot of fun to do, and it's very, very easy. Simply take a dime and clip that here between your fingers. This is an easy way to palm a coin. Now, have someone place their hand, palm up, and then you place your hand on top of theirs. Don't put it flat or they'll feel the coin. Keep your hand cupped a little bit. Then they place their other hand on top of yours. Now you pick up the insert, place that onto the back of their hand. Then you pick up the shell and put that on top of the insert. Now remember, this will work with a scotch and soda or a diamond penny. Have them name either of the two coins. Now Dottie, last time, named the dime. Okay, so that was simple. We made the dime disappear, and all I did was release my grip, let it fall into her hand. She feels it, and they freak out. Well, let's say she's named the penny. How are you going to do it then? It's real easy. You say, Dottie, watch that penny. I'm going to use it to push the dime right through into your hand. Watch closely. Empty hand, completely empty. No holes in the back of the hand, none at all. Take a centavo. Place that on the back of the hand. Take a half dollar. Place that on the back of the hand. Two coins right there. Name either coin. Centavo, watch closely. I simply give the coins a little rub and a press. That centavo vanishes from the back of my hand, has gone through my hand, and believe it or not, is now inside. To do this trick, you simply take the centavo and thumb palm it right here at the base of the thumb real easy to do and not hard. Show the other hand completely empty and form it into a fist. Now this is a loose fist so that you have an opening here. Now what you do is show the back of the hand, place the middle finger on the middle knuckle of the other hand. And now as you rotate the hands, you'll notice that the centavo is right over the opening. You simply let it fall in as you continue around. The whole thing happens real smooth. You just hear and come around and the coin is loaded into the hand. Now it's a simple matter of picking up the coins, placing the centavo there, placing the half there, in other words insert and then shell on top, simply nest the two coins together and make it pass through. I met a guy the other day who wanted to do a little bit of gambling. He said we'd bet for a quarter. He took a centavo, placed it inside a dollar bill, then he placed a half dollar in there also. He closed up the bills, 
putting the two coins inside, and then he removed one of the coins. It was up to me to guess which coin he removed. I guessed silver. He snapped his fingers and showed me no, that the copper was outside and that the silver was still inside. We did it again. He placed the two coins right inside the dollar bill, removed one of the coins, asked me to guess which one, I guessed silver, snapped his fingers again, and he showed me again that the copper was outside. I now owed him 50 cents. He placed the two coins back into the bill again, closed the bill up, put the coins right inside, removed one of the coins, asked me to guess which one. I was on to him now, so I said copper. He said, no, he said, the silver's outside, now you owe me 75 cents. I said, well, I'll bet you a quarter that the copper is inside. He said, I'm sorry, it's gone, and now you owe me a dollar. To do this trick, you need a dollar bill, and you have it folded in half and then in half again. Take your gimmick coins and have them separated so that you have the shell here and you have the insert here, copper side up. Place the insert, copper side up, into the bill. Place the shell overlapping it on top. Fold the bill around the coins. Now turn the bill over and allow the insert to slide out. It'll now slide out silver side up. Place the bill on top. Say that you were betting for a quarter. Snap your fingers and then show that the copper coin is now outside. Now you simply open the bill and repeat the whole procedure. Place the insert on top of the shell. Fold the bill around the coins. Turn the package over and allow the insert to fall out silver side up. Place the bill on top of that, snap the fingers, and then show that the copper coin is once again outside. Now you owe 50 cents. Open up the bill, and this time place the insert under the shell. Now as you go to close the bill around the coins, all you do is simply nest the two coins together, and that's done under cover of folding the bill up. Now, once again, slide out the coin. It'll look like it has in the other times that you've done this. Place the bill on top. Say that this time you guess copper. Snap the fingers and show that, no, the silver really is outside. Place the silver to the table. Then for your last bet, say that you bet the copper is inside. He opens up the bill. There is no copper coin. And now you owe him $1. Dottie, here I have two coins on the table. I want you to watch this very closely. It's okay. important that you watch this closer than anything you've watched before. All right. Look, I have the Mexican centavo, and I have a half dollar. Now, I'm going to place both of these coins into my hand. Are you watching? Yes. Okay, watch close. They both go into the hand. I give it a shake, and look, the centavo has it's disappeared. Gone. Were you watching closely? Yes. Where did the centavo go? Disappeared. No, I remember I told you to watch. So if you look here, under my watch, there's actually a coin, and it's the centavo. <laughs> I told you to watch close. <laughs> this trick is real easy to do and a lot of fun. Simply take the extra coin, hide it under your watch. Remember, that's the real centavo that went underneath there. Show the gimmick set on the table. It's separated. Pick up the insert, place that into your hand, place the shell on top, show both coins cleanly, and remember to keep telling them to watch the two coins. Close your hand into a fist, nest the two coins together, open the hand, the centavo has vanished. Remember you told them to watch closely, then you pull back, show your watch, lift up underneath, and show that the centavo has appeared underneath your watch. Dottie, yes. I'm going to show you a little something here with a pack of cigarettes. I'm going to okay. place that on the table, this side up. Right. On top of that, I'll place a copper coin. On top of that, I'll place a silver coin. Okay. What I'm going to attempt to do is cause that copper coin to pass right through the pack of cigarettes and land on the table below. And All I'm right. going to push it with that half dollar. Okay. So here we go. The hands are empty. Simply push that coin down, and look, the copper oh, coin has what? vanished. Yeah. And now it's on the table, but... No. Oh, <laughs> I should have pushed a little harder. To do this trick, you simply need a pack of cigarettes that's unopened so that it stays nice and firm, and it has cellophane on it, and it looks the same on either side. Take the centavo and place that under the cellophane inside the pack. Now, lay this on the table with the coin hidden underneath. Now, what you're going to do is apparently pick this pack up and turn it over to the other side, but you're not really going to do that. And you don't call attention to it. You just kind of blow it off and say, hey, I'll place it this side up. And to do this, you simply place the thumb underneath 
and rotate the pack around as you turn your hand. So at speed, it looks as though you picked it up and turned it over to the opposite side. In the spectator's mind, without calling attention to this, they believe they've seen both sides of this pack of cigarettes. Now it's a simple matter to place the centavo on top, place the shell on top of that, say what you're going to do, which is to push the centavo through the pack onto the table below, simply line the two coins up and press, that locks them in place, the centavo has now vanished, and then lift the pack of cigarettes and show that it's on the table below. Act surprised and then turn it over and say, oh, <laughs> I should have pushed a little harder. Daddy, I'm going to show you a little something with some money here. Okay. Here I have a dollar bill. If you would, take a good look at that. All right. Make sure there's nothing in there. It looks good. Yes. See how it's creased there? Go ahead and fold it along those creases. Okay. Okay. And now that money, you see it increases. Oh. <laughs> it's a bad joke. But you do like money. So here, let me show you a little something with a centavo and a uh, half dollar, okay? okay? And what we're gonna do is place those coins here into my hand. Now there's a centavo, mm -hmm. and there's a half dollar. Right. If you would, name either of the two coins. It doesn't matter. Uh, centavo. centavo, watch closely as that centavo disappears. Oh. It's completely gone, but do you know where it went? No. Take a look inside the bill that you folded up, okay. and there's something in there, and there it is, centavo. the centavo. To do this trick, you need two $1 bills, and you need your scotch and soda set. Now these are separated, there's the shell, there's the insert, and you take the real centavo and place that inside a dollar bill. This is held underneath your wallet. You open the wallet and remove the other dollar. Have them look at it, and since it's creased, they fold it along those creases, and you lay that on top of your wallet. Then you call attention to the two coins and you bring them out. Now you're going to switch this bill for the one underneath that has a centavo loaded inside of it. And all you do for that is simply grab the one underneath, Turn the, hang, turn the uh, wallet over and table this. You've got away from that, they've looked at it, and you've had a little bit of fun with it because of the joke about now seeing how the money increases. Take the two coins, place the insert there, place the shell on top of it, close the hand, nest the two coins together, cause one to disappear, it's completely gone, then have them open the dollar bill, and inside, they'll be surprised to find the missing coin. Here's a real neat trick you can do with these coins also. Simply take a dime and a penny, place them on the table, overlapping like this, show your hands empty, take the empty hand and place it underneath the table. Cover these two coins, give it a press, and make one coin apparently pass right through the table and land in your hand beneath the table. To do this trick, you're going to need your gimmick coin sets, and of course they're separated on the table. You take the real coin that matches your set, and that goes underneath the table on your lap, let's say. Now what you do is show the two coins, place the shell on top of the insert. Now show this hand empty, and it goes under the table. As it goes under the table, you pick up the real coin from your lap or wherever it is that you have it hidden, and so it's now in your hand. Show these two coins, simply squeeze them together and nest them. That makes one coin look as though it's disappeared and went right through the table and landed down here in your hand below. Dottie, if you would, just touch the back of any card. Okay. Any one at all. one. That one right there. Take a good look at it. Okay. You can show it to the audience if you'd like. Place it back. And then what we'll do is just leave it right there in the center of the pack. Okay. Here I have a centavo. Here I have a half dollar. Okay. Two coins. Would you name either of the two coins? Uh, the half dollar. Half dollar. I take the half dollar out, use it as a magic wand, and cause that centavo to disappear. <laughs> it's completely gone. And look, down here inside the pack, is the centavo, but it's resting on top of one card. What card did you select? Queen of spades. The queen of spades, and there it is, the queen of spades. To do this trick, what you're going to need is your scotch and soda set and your regular centavo. This is simply held in the fingertips like this. You spread the card so it goes right on top of the centavo, and it's now riding underneath these cards. Have someone touch the back of any card, let's say this one. They look at it, the ace of spades, and now remember, your centavo is down here, and all you're going to do is just drop these cards on top so that it goes right on top of the card they selected. That goes back on the table. Pick up the insert, pick up the shell, close the hand, nest the two coins together, ask them to pick either one. If they say silver, use that as a wand to make the copper vanish. If they name copper, simply snap your fingers and show that the copper has vanished. Where did it go? Here into the deck. If you reach down, you'll be able to cut right where that coin is at. It's resting on top of one card, and the card that they picked, the Ace of Spades. 
Here I have two coins, a dime and a penny. I'm going to place those both into my hand. Would you name either coin? Penny. Look, if I give it a shake, I can change both of these coins into pennies. Of course, it's only an illusion because with one more shake, now it goes right back to being a dime and a penny. But since you named penny, I'll put those both into my hand, give it a shake, and we'll make penny the only coin that's left. To do this trick, you're going to use your gimmick coins. They're separated. You have the insert here at your fingertips. You have the shell back here. As you close your hand, all you do is allow the shell to flip over and land on the insert like that. You then rotate your hand this way so that they remain that way and now turn your hand completely over in this fashion. What that does is it brings the insert now copper side up. It looks as though both coins have changed into pennies. Repeat the same process. Allow the shell to fall and land on the insert and then rotate your hand again and now it's gone back to being a dime and a penny. Now simply allow the two coins to nest as you close your hand. Give it a little shake and then turn your hand over and show that one coin has completely vanished. I've been reading the magic book lately and they told me to take a copper coin, a centavo, put that into my hand and then put a silver coin in my hand also. Now I'm supposed to close my hands into a fist, say abracadabra and the copper coin is supposed to disappear. Let's see. Abracadabra. Hey, what do you know? <laughs> it worked. But then I'm supposed to take the half dollar, wave it over my hand, cause the copper coin to reappear. You know what I think? I think they're nuts. Want to see a card trick? This trick is a lot of fun to do, and all you need for this is a large nut, and you simply palm that in your hand like this. This is a classic palm. Now, what you do is then hold the two coins here at your fingertips, and it'll look as though from the front that your hand is empty. Simply place the two coins into your hand, insert first, and then shell on top, and as you close your hand, you allow the two coins to nest. You explain that the copper coin is supposed to vanish, open your hand, and of course it does. The spectators will think that's the end of the trick. Now remember, you still have this nut in your hand. Simply come over and grab the coin from your hand, and as you do, allow the nut to fall at your fingertips, rotate your hand around, wave the half dollar over the hand, and then show that the nut has appeared. Now that you've learned how to do that trick, here's another one that uses the exact same handling, but with a different effect. Simply take a centavo, and this time palm it in your hand. Pick up these two coins just as you did in the previous trick, show them, place those into the hand, and cause one of the coins to vanish. And of course, the centavo has vanished. Now do the same hand load where you come over and allow the centavo now, instead of the nut, to fall into your hand. Take the half dollar, wave it over your hand, and you can actually make the centavo then reappear. And you can hand that out because all the spectators will want to see that coin and not the gimmicked one. I'm going to show you how to classic palm a coin now. Simply place the coin here at the base of the mound of the thumb and squeeze from the side and that'll allow the coin to stay in classic palm. Whatever you do, you don't want to squeeze from the fingers to the back of the hand because that looks unnatural. So once again, it's squeezing from the base of the thumb towards the other side of the hand, and that will allow the coin to stay classic palmed. Dottie, yeah. do me a favor, hold your left hand perfectly still, palm up, fantastic. Okay. I'm going to place a half dollar there. On top of that, I'm going to place a centavo. On top of that, I'm going to place another half dollar, a little bit of a sandwich okay. in your hand. <laughs> Over here I have two coins. These are silver dollars, okay? I want you to take your other hand, squeeze onto these nice and tight. Don't let anything in or out. Okay. See the centavo between the two half dollars there? Yes. Watch this closely. All I'm going to do is just push them together like so. Close your hand tightly. Squeeze the coins as hard as you can. I'm now going to reach over here, remove the centavo from here, and pass it over to here. I know you don't believe me, <laughs> so do me a favor. Open this hand nice and slow, and you'll see that the centavo has vanished from this hand. And once again, equally as slow, open this hand, and you'll see in between the two silver dollars is the centavo. Do this. You place the centavo here. You place a larger coin on top of that and another larger coin on top of that. I'm using silver dollars. On top of that, you're going to place the insert or the shell and then the insert on top of that. This all goes in your hand and then a real half dollar on top of that. Have a spectator open their hand. Now start to peel the coins off one at a time. 
You place a real half dollar into their hand. Now you place the insert on top of that into their hand. And of course, the shell goes on top of that. You've made a little bit of a sandwich. You tell them to keep their hands perfectly still. Simply separate these two coins. And remember, you're hiding the centavo underneath here, but they don't see it because the coin is larger. Say that you have two coins left. And now simply take this coin, put it under this one and the centavo, so you've made a little sandwich over here. These now go into their other hand, which they close tightly and hold on to. Call attention to the centavo between the two half dollars. Straighten them up just a little bit. Have them close their hand tight. When they do that, it will lock the two coins in place. When they open their hand, the centavo will have vanished from there and will have reappeared over here in their other hand between the other two coins. Now here's a real fun trick to do. Simply take a glass, place that behind your back, pick up the centavo, pick up the half dollar, put these both into your hand. Tell them that this trick hurts a lot. Me, not you. Close the hand up. One, two. <clears throat> there it went. And you've made one coin go from here right through your body and land in the glass behind your back. To do this trick, what you're going to need is your gimmick set. You take the real centavo and you're going to classic palm it like we talked about before. You pick up the glass with your palm over the mouth of the glass. This goes behind your back. Now you pick up the two coins. Here we have the insert and then the shell goes right on top of that. Call attention to the two coins. Tell them that this trick is very painful. Simply close the hand, nest the two coins together, hit your body once, twice, and on the third time, simply allow the classic palm coin to fall into the glass. That's done behind your back. Open your hand, show that the coin really has disappeared, gone through your body, and has landed in the glass behind your back. Now I want to show you a little something that you can do with these coins to apparently show both sides of the coins. It's basically like we did with the cigarette pack before, where all you do is allow the coin to flip over as you transfer it here from hand to hand. So this way, if you just pick up a, a half dollar, allow it to flip as you go from one hand to the other, at speed, it'll look to the audience as though you've shown both sides of the coins. And of course, that'll work with the, uh, the insert also. So it's a real nice move that you can use for a lot of these copper silver effects. And I hope you try it. Here we have a Mexican centavo. I simply come over, give it a little bit of a rub. It changes to a half dollar. Come over it again, rub it again it changes back to a centavo. Last time, simply come over, give it a little bit of a rub, and it changes back to a half dollar, and you can look at it all day long. To do this, separate the coin so that the insert is here showing copper side. The uh, shell is finger palmed here in your other hand, just pinched between these two fingers, index and pinky. Now, as you show the coin in your hand, what you do is simply come with your thumb and allow it to swivel the coin around. Come away with the hand and it looks as though it's changed to silver. Come with the thumb again, swivel it around one more time, and that of course makes the coin change to copper. Do it one last time, and this time what you do is you leave the shell right in front of the insert. Come away, and now it's changed to silver. You can show this hand completely empty. Squeeze the two coins together as you come away, and they can look at the half dollar, see nothing wrong with it, and wonder how it changed so many times. Watch closely as we take a centavo, place that into the handkerchief along with a half dollar. I now fold up the corners of the handkerchief, leaving the two coins inside the handkerchief. Fold up these corners and these corners, and what that does is it leaves both coins right there in the center of the handkerchief. Magically, though, I'm going to reach down and try to remove one of the coins right through the handkerchief, in this case the centavo, leaving only the half dollar inside the handkerchief. To do this trick, simply separate the coins. You have the insert here and you have the shell over here. Place the insert into the handkerchief, place the shell on top of the insert, fold the corners up like so. Now, when you bring this hand up to cover this and this hand to cover that, so both coins are inside there. But you've had the other centavo palmed in your hand from the very beginning. No one will notice it. Now pick up the corners with the hand palming the centavo and hide that behind the handkerchief like this. Come up now. Call attention to the two coins being inside the handkerchief. Squeeze them together. 
Now what you're going to do is show this hand empty, come back, and apparently remove a coin from the handkerchief. But what you're really going to do is behind the handkerchief, allow this coin to fall to your fingertips, and then pull it out as though it came through the fabric. Show that coin as having passed through, lay the handkerchief back onto the table, open it up, and show that there is indeed only one coin remaining inside the handkerchief. Dottie, if you would, hold your hand, palm up, okay. perfectly still. I'm going to place a dime into your hand. I'm going to place right. a penny into your hand. Take my index finger and cover both of those coins. Now, if you would, close your hand around okay. my fingers. Fantastic. Look, if I remove my finger, I've taken nothing away. Is that correct? Okay. But yet all I have to do is snap, and if you'll open your hand, you'll find that the okay. dime has completely vanished. To do this trick, all you simply do is take the coins, have them separated ahead of time, have them place their hand, palm up, Place the insert onto their palm, place the shell on top of that, take your index finger and line up the two coins as you have them close their hand around your finger. They squeeze tightly, that locks the two coins in place. You cleanly remove your finger from their hand, have them open their hand, and of course one of the coins has now vanished. Now you can end it right there or you can have it reappear in a bunch of different places. You could have loaded a coin under a cigarette pack to begin with and had it reappear there. Or you could have had your wallet on the table and then had the coin reappear there. All kinds of places for you to make a coin reappear.